Hello, welcome to Ram's Kids Cooking Club. Today we'll be making orange scones. To make orange scones, you need one and three fourths cup all purpose flour, one fourth cup granulated sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, one fourth teaspoon salt, four tablespoons cold cubed butter, one half cup heavy cream, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one egg, zest of one orange, one to two tablespoons of orange juice. Before starting to make your scones, you're going to need to zest your orange and then juice it. For your glaze that goes on top of your scones, you're going to need one cup powdered sugar, zest of one orange, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of melted butter, and juice of a half of a large orange. After that's all in the bowl, you're going to combine it and whisk it until it's nice and smooth. After you prepare your orange zest and you squeeze your orange juice, you're going to take your flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt and you're going to combine them into a big bowl. After it's thoroughly combined, you're going to add the butter, and you're going to use two knives, and you're going to make it, and you're going to cut the butter into the flour. When you're done cutting the butter into your flour, they should look like this. Should be small chunks. After you're done cutting your butter, you're gonna set it aside and you're gonna get a small bowl and you put these ingredients in it. These ingredients are orange juice, heavy whipping cream, orange zest, vanilla, and egg. You add them all into this bowl. And you're gonna whisk it. You wanna whisk it till the egg is combined with everything else. It should look like this. So now you're gonna take the bowl with your flour mixture and you make a well with it in the with your fork. So basically you're going to take the flour and push it towards the edge and try to make a hole. Okay, now you're going to take your heavy cream mixture and you're going to add it right into the middle of the well. And you're going to mix it with your fork. So it's gonna look like this. This is what we call a shaggy dough. Cause 
not fully formed into like a ball or anything. You want to mix so all the flour is combined. Like so. After mixing your dough, you're going to take some parchment paper and you're going to lay it over your baking sheet. You want to press it all the way to the edges. Like that. Alright, you're gonna take your dough. I'm just gonna plop it right on top. Make sure you get all your dough onto there. So you're gonna use your hands. You're gonna Mix in the little flour at the bottom, and then you're going to make it into a disc. After you got your disc, you're going to take your knife, you're going to cut it in half, then in half again. So you have, now you have four and we're going to make eight. So we're going to cut it right across the middle, and then right across the middle again. Okay, now you're going to take it going to separate them. So they're about one inch apart from each other. Now that they're separated, you're going to put them in the fridge for about 10 minutes and after that you're going to put them in the oven that should be preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 14 minutes or until they're light golden brown. Now after that your scones are cooled and that you made your glaze, you're going to take your scone, you're going to dip it into your glaze, go about halfway, pull up. You can place it back on the rack for it to set. You can dip it in any way you want. You could go like this and dip it like halfway at the tip. So it looks like that. Anyway, now enjoy those scones.